When I was 11 years old, I was living in Qatar. Uh, I was living in the U.S., attending public school. So my classmate would ask me, where do you come from? I would answer, Qatar, in the Middle East. And then the question come, do you still ride camels? So this really affect me and left a mark in my heart. Today, thanks to our leaders, Qatar is well known in the world. I mean, we are hosting the World Cup in less than 100 days. So this, however, this has many concerns. One of them is how this will affect the host community. When I say the host community, I would say all of us living in Qatar. This concerned me, so I focused my research on uh, analyzing social culture effect of the mega uh, host of the mega host uh, of the mega event on the host community. This analysis of data and survey uh, shows that the uh, this mega event will bring many uh, challenge, uh, challenges and opportunities. So I'll talk about the opportunities. The opportunities is money flow, better infrastructure and most importantly uh, opening the world to Qatar uh, to the uh, opening Qatar to the world by sharing our culture beliefs and uh, traditions uh, this also brings challenges one of the challenges is the media attacks unfortunately this can affect the reputation of the country when I also Another challenge is the, uh, the, the most consequences is the criminal activities. This ha makes us concerned. What can we do? What should we do? I mean, everyone should have concern on that. But we, I hope us, the host community, will challenge the world and will tell everyone that Qatar is, that the world will not change Qatar. Qatar will change the world. I hope everyone will face the reality that we are going to leave the legacy for the next generation. We have to show the world that we are as small as, small as Qatar it is, we are big and we have 200 nationalities together living in peace. Thank you, everyone. Thanks.